Hi, this is Troy Hunt, and I'd like to talk to you about ransomware. This is a particularly malicious strain of malware that's become enormously prevalent and is proving to be especially damaging to organizations and individuals alike. In this course, I'd like to talk to you about what those impacts are. So what does it mean when machines are infected with malware? How does it get into those machines in the first place? So what are the delivery channels? And then what does it do once it's in there? What are the mechanics of ransomware? We'll also talk about paying the ransom. Does it actually make sense? Should you ever pay? And then we'll move on and we'll talk about how ransomware is evolving because it's a class of malware which is changing very quickly and in some really worrying ways as well. And then finally, we're going to talk about defensive measures. So how can you recover if you are infected by malware? Or even better, how can you prevent your systems from being infected in the first place? So that's what we're going to cover. Let's jump into it and start talking about ransomware. Very quickly about me before we get into the details of this class of attack. I am Troy Hunt. I spend a lot of my time training technology professionals about how to better secure their systems. You'll often find me speaking at events around the world and running workshops for organizations trying to stay ahead of today's online risks. You can find me on Twitter at Troy Hunt or on my blog at TroyHunt.com. So that's it for me. Let's jump into it and start looking at what it means to get hit with ransomware. On the 5th of Feb in 2016, the Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center made an alarming discovery. They'd been infected with malware. Their files were encrypted with AES encryption in such a way that the hospital simply couldn't read them. Now think about what it means for a hospital to be infected with malware that makes it impossible for them to read files. So, for example, they had to divert emergency patients because they didn't have the ability to process them. It also impacted their ability to run their normal day-to-day -day patient care programs. And then think about all the impact it would have had on the back office. So everything that happens behind the scenes of a hospital in order to keep it ticking along. Seeing a hospital infected with ransomware makes you understand just how vicious this class of malware really is. Here's an organization designed to help people stay healthy, in some cases stay alive, and their ability to do that was severely impacted when they got hit. They had to revert to pen and paper in place of automated systems. So think about what it means for an organization like a hospital to have to revert to the practices of a couple of decades ago just to look after their patients. In the case of the Hollywood Presbyterian, the ransomware was demanding payment of 40 bitcoins. Now to put that in today's money, that's about $17,000. And that probably sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money. $17,000 just to undo the impact of one piece of software. But then again, you think about a hospital and you think about that $17,000 and it makes you wonder, what is their data actually worth? $17,000 for an entire hospital doesn't actually seem like so much. And then you ask the question, what are their services worth? Because it's not just a question of the data itself, but whilst this incident was taking place, there were all sorts of services that they couldn't provide. In many cases, commercial services they couldn't provide. And when you actually start to think about that $17,000 in context, the alarming thing is it's actually a bargain. And this is what makes ransomware so effective. It makes good economic sense to pay it. And that's just what they ultimately did. They paid the ransomware. So after the 10 days, after paying that ransom, they restored their services and they moved on. I want to go and talk about the impact on those who are infected with ransomware. And we're going to look at those numbers a little bit more closely and also talk about what it means at the individual level when ransomware hits.